Now, who has been to the state convention? I know. Tell us just just a little briefly about the about the state convention, if you will. It's great. You need to go. It's an experience that you'll never forget. It's held for three days. If you can afford to go, and it's going to be in Dallas this year, so it's not going to be too difficult to travel if you want to. You go to the first day, there will be a lot of uh, just talk. You get around, you find out where you're going to have your uh, my blonde moments. You have the meeting of... of yeah. Yeah, the conferences where they're going to be held, and you want to make sure you go to every one of them because then you have a, a breakfast. When you get your packet, you will have a, you can go to the prayer breakfast, you can go to lunch with the governor, you can go to all these things. Some of them cost, some of them don't. But you have an opportunity to meet the legislatures throughout the whole state, not just in <coughs> Hopkins County or in District 4 or District 3 whichever way you want to take it for the state legislature, which is District 3. You'll be able to meet with them and talk to them about some of the things that are coming up and some of the things on the platform. If any of you have Robert's Rules of Order, learn it. Take your book with you because when everything comes on the board, on the floor, when they start talking about it, somebody's going to object with Robert's Rules of Order, go know what it's talking about, why they stop, why they have to go to all these other extra votes and everything else. Every vote is very important. On Saturday is when they make their final votes, and that's when you'll have the largest crowd. That's when you'll have George W. Bush come and talk to you or somebody like that. But there's so many different activities going on, meetings that you can attend. Then after the meetings in the evening, you can go to the, there's one big hotel, and most of them have open rooms, and you go to that where you can almost eat all your meals there because they always have food. They have, I don't think they have alcoholic drinks. I don't remember ever seeing alcoholic drinks in there, in those rooms. But you can go there and get you a cup of coffee and sit down and just listen to what's going on, what the arguments are, what the pros and cons are, and all of that. But when you, you go to the caucus meeting, that's when they select the people who will be able to vote for the president. And that is a great honor to do that, to be able to go. And you are, you go to Austin, and you get to place your vote for all of the votes that have been passed in Texas. And therefore, a lot of times these people, our daughter and son-in-law, they got to go to Washington and be there for the inauguration. And you get, you get to see these things in, at work and the people who work for it. And it's just a, a wonderful thing any time you get to go. And I didn't get to explain to That's all right. That kind of gives you a little bit of overview um, about why this is so important and, and why, we, why we work up to that. Does anybody have any other questions about maybe the, the precinct or the county or the state convention or anything else to comment on on that? All right, we did that good a job explaining, so, <laughs> Sam. Yes, sir. One of the state conventions I attended in my life, I got to hear Lydia and Ryan sing the first time publicly in the state of Texas, and I thought it was really great. She gave a wonderful concert down in San Antonio. So they might have somebody up and come a star, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, you know, just to, just to tell you if you... Uh, I hope you can make it to the precinct convention. Very, very simple to do. Your minutes, all they need to do is, is have some blanks filled in. You have some very specific instructions on um, on how to run the meeting. Make sure your lists are signed. And uh, just make sure you have your resolutions together that you voted on and approved. And there could be some resolutions that the group there doesn't want to improve. When the last uh, county convention, um, there were some resolutions that just had to do with uh, practicing attorneys and how they could get their license, I remember, that we just decided we didn't want to approve. So, you know, that will happen. This is this is politics, and this is, you know, these are ideas being, being brought forward. So 
Um, if there's anything that just doesn't go along with the Republican Party, then please, you know, go ahead and, and disprove it there, and then um, then we won't have to worry about it. Of course, if you're the if you're one of three, and the other two came in and brought that resolution, might warn us at the county convention, and then then we'll know to you know what to be looking for. Uh, anything else? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Okay, so any food at the at the watch party on the second, just make sure it's uh it's finger foods or uh Oreo cookies are always good, but uh anything like that. Um, anybody have anything else we want to announce? Yes, ma'am. married a wife and ended up in Canada. And how many years have you been in Canada? 20 years, but he still can vote. He hold, held his uh, United States citizenship, and he's a dual citizen. So when it comes time to vote for the president, well, he can vote. He can't vote for here. He can't vote for you, but he can still, he still votes, and uh, he says, I'm always going to be a Texan. And uh, so I'm thrilled to death to have him. He just had one order. Mama, don't let it snow. <laughs> so I'm glad to have him with me. He uh, married a wife and ended up in Canada. That's, that's what happened. <laughs> well, all right. We're glad to have you here. Oh, and I guess just real quick, when you're done with these, um, they need to get back to the party chairman, to Donnie Weisenbaker. Uh, he will be, that evening, he will be up at the county, at the courthouse, collecting all the voting material. So if you get it done in time, it can easily be sent back with the judges that are, that are taking the equipment back. Um, or you have three days to hand it to him or two days to get it in the mail to him. Um, it's that simple, and there should be some instructions there for that, too. And with no other questions, I'll uh, apologize. I don't normally try to run a meeting and, and bring my th three girls with me. My, my wife had a function with a, with a new job that she hadn't actually started yet, so it was pretty important that she be there. But um, so I just, please forgive me. We just had to, Donnie tapped me last night to try to, try to fill in and, and give you all this information, so we just made it work. I got I owe them a couple extra cookies tonight. They've been pretty good. All right. If anybody else, anybody else have anything at all? Actually, I probably better to introduce our candidates. Uh, Trey Hinton's here. He's our uh, running for county commissioner of precinct two. And uh, I'm Chris Brown. I'm running for county judge on the Republican ticket. But Trey, you had something. I just uh, was wondering if y'all had uh, given out any of the totals of the early voting yet. Uh, do you have any, or uh, does anybody in here? I've got uh, some through yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Just a second here. I sent it to my wife on here somewhere. So. <laughs> it was uh, it was like 769 people had voted in the Republican primary. 244 had voted in the Democratic primary. It's uh, nearly three to one, countywide. I remember, I remember watching the results in the primaries just two years ago thinking, man, it was only two to one Democrats over Republicans. We're doing better. So this, this is great. Um, people are coming out. People are, people are paying attention. And so it's just real simply time for time for Republicans to stop and listen and make sure we stay on the right track. <laughs> there you go. Let me introduce one of our city councilmen, Charles Oxford, too. Don't get smug about that vote ratio. The Democrats, most of them don't have an opponent, so a lot of them are switching over because of that, and some are voting for some Republican that the Democrat doesn't want to have to face in the big election. So don't get smug about that ratio right now. Get out and vote. That is going to happen, and that is a very good point. We need to make sure that 
um, we get we get our people out to vote because that's that's what's going to make the difference. So be calling, call your friends, make sure they've gone to vote. Anybody else have anything? Anything else? All right. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Please polish off the food back there and. Thank you a lot.